types of computer applications used in organizations. My name is Bruce Neubauer. I'm preparing this for my students and for others who see it and may be interested. There's no single way to categorize types of application, software applications in organizations. One way, however, is to think in terms of the strategic level, the tactical level, and the operational level of the organization. At the strategic level, administrators need applications that will help them answer so-called ad hoc questions. These kinds of applications are sometimes called executive information systems. At the tactical or mid-level of the organization, managers need applications that produce standard reports. Such applications are sometimes called report generators. And at the operational level, employees need applications that help them perform as experts, even if they are not experts. Some applications of this type are called expert systems. Let's think now for a moment about the strategic level. A, a decision made at the strategic level is usually a decision that is not made repeatedly, although it may possibly be made repeatedly. For example, a, um, a decision to go into a new um, kind of effort might involve some financial modeling in order to anticipate whether or not it's a good idea to go into this new product line. Rockwell Arena is a kind of software app, is a, is a software application made by Rockwell, named Arena, that is used to model and simulate processes and operations. For example, before building a new warehouse or a new production facility, it's useful to be able to model and simulate the operation of that facility and to see where the bottlenecks are. It's a whole lot better and a whole lot cheaper to see how it's going to work on the screen of a computer than to build and deploy it first and only then discover problems with it after it's already, you know, exists literally in concrete and steel, or has been implemented as a process. This is a representation of an incredibly simple um, process or model using the ARENA tool. It's not any particular process, but just an example of the use of the tool. The CREATE module creates new jobs or entities entering the system. For example, these might be, if, if this was a model of the emergency department of a hospital, the CREATE module could be used to produce simulated instances of patients entering the facility seeking medical help. And then the first process is um, you know, perhaps um, something involving um, some paperwork at the business desk or maybe triage to, to sort out the patients who need immediate attention from those whose conditions are less urgent. So the, the rectangle is a process. A process is a task, a unit of work done by somebody a decision module is the, the diamond shape. It usually has um, two flow outs or whatever you call them, um, often designated true and false, although it may have more than just two. So something is being decided here. And if, if the condition that's being decided is true, then according to this model, that's the end of it. 
Um, this is just a, a very, very simple model for demon for, for, so that you'll kind of see what the software, the model produced by the software looks like. However, if the condition being evaluated in the decide module is false, then process two runs, the entity returns to process one, and again, if the decide module is true, if the condition is true in the decide module, the, the instance is, is, exits the system. Um, Arena does not actually automate a, a real system. It's a modeling and simulation tool. The organization would possibly have customized software built to actually automate a process, but Arena is not used for that purpose. It's, it's a modeling and simulation tool used at the the highest level, the, the strategic level of the organization, to envision something before it's been created in order to identify how the process or the operation is likely to function if it's actually built and implemented. Okay, at the mid-level or tactical level, managers are likely to need applications that produce periodic reports. Um, for example, a payroll support application may actually compute employees' wages earned, their benefits, and so forth. It may actually be attached to the printer, or it may actually be connected electronically to another system at the bank, and it may make direct deposits into employees' accounts, and it probably will produce summary re reports. I'm sure it will produce summary reports of what it has done and what wages have been paid to um, employees, what benefits have been paid to the various companies that administer benefits, and what taxes have been paid to state and federal agencies, for example. Decision support systems are valuable in organizations. Some decision support systems are designed to help individuals make decisions. Other decision support systems are group decision support systems that facilitate collaboration and group decision making, of course. Um, there's an overlap here. Executive information systems are also decision support systems, helping executives make good decisions or design things well. Expert systems are also decision support systems, usually used at the operational level of the organization. In public administration, the people who would use expert systems might be identified as street-level bureaucrats. These are people who actually work with the clients of the organization. Decision support systems could support collaboration and, and virtual meetings across the globe if, if there is a need for that, for example. Expert systems, as I said a moment ago, are usually applied at the operational level of the organization. These systems help employees who are not experts make good and fair and uniform decisions as if they had many years of experience. For example, caseworkers may be having to apply complex laws and rules to determine the eligibility of prospective clients. In the old days, this was done with thick manuals, and you just hoped that the caseworker would know where to look in that manual for the information needed to make a complex decision about a particular prospective client. 
expert systems or computer-based systems that help the expert ask the right questions and also not waste everybody's time by asking questions or requiring people to fill out forms with unnecessary information. Unnecessary, I mean, in, their, in, the, in the particular instance of a particular prospective client. So in conclusion, there's different ways to categorize computer applications used by organizations. One way is to think in terms of the three levels of the organization, strategic level, mid-level, or tactical level, and the um, operational level. Also, tools are valuable in that they can often produce information in the form of visuals that help people make sense of the information provided. I have not in this presentation attempted to make the distinction between online transaction processing and online analytic processing systems. I'll approach that in class or through another presentation for you online. The distinction between OLAP and OLTP systems is yet another way to identify categories of applications. Thank you.